All right, artists. So to get started on this teepee that we're going to make 3D and make it stand up, you're going to need one piece of paper. We're going to make this template here, okay? So one piece of paper you are going to have. This is the only way it's going to work. You have to make sure it's landscape style, side to side, okay? So the first thing, I would do it with a pencil first. Pencil first, okay? So grab that pencil. Maybe get your black marker handy, your crowns, and then a glue stick and your scissors, okay? So, we're gonna locate the top of the paper. We are gonna do a diagonal line at the top that is about four or five inches long, okay? We'll do five inches. Now, if you don't have a ruler, you can kind of just look at mine and see how long it is. It's almost about this half of the paper, like half of the paper. So draw that line, that's about five inches, okay? Then we've gotta do this U shape in the middle. And with our ruler, that is about an inch, maybe a little bit bigger. You guys can see my inch here. So if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler in that area. And then another diagonal that goes down, okay? So it's about the same length as this top line, so about five inches. You can measure that with your ruler. It's a diagonal, so it's not straight up and down. It goes diagonally, okay? So from here, since you have your lines on top, you're gonna create this really large curved line on the bottom that connects to the other side, okay? Then somewhere in the middle, so you can do a line here, somewhere in the middle, there is another triangle curves down, so two diagonals, and a line through the center. This is gonna be the opening of the teepee, okay? So I'm gonna stop it there, and we're gonna make sure that we're all on the same page, okay? And then we'll start moving forward. All right, you guys, so I noticed we're also going to need to create a line it's about an inch from the bottom here all the way up. This is going to be folded, okay? Okay, along this line here. So you guys, the very next thing we want to do, I want to go ahead and show you some symbols. I've hand drawn these out for you guys. Um, these are some Native American symbols that you may have seen um, incorporated on a teepee. Um, so for instance, we have the figure of a man, which is a circle, an upside down triangle, and then it's got diagonals for its legs. The only difference between the man and the woman is that the woman has an upside down triangle and then another triangle underneath. So if you wanted to make a small boy or girl, you just make a little smaller version of them, okay? So you guys on your teepee, you could create an image of your family using the people symbols and represent how many siblings you have. You could also hand draw Maybe one of the most important crops, corn that a Native American would have eaten. Also things that they would have hunted, like fish. This is the symbol for a fish. You could do a sun, rain clouds. An arrow would have been a symbol of protection. 
So a straight horizontal line with other diagonal lines through the bottom or one side and then a triangle. You then have two arrows that cross over one another that represent friendship. You've got mountain range, a moon with a circle. You could also do a moon and a sun, which would look like this here, or a snake, or a teepee symbol. So the first thing I wanna see you guys do, which you can still do with your pencil here, on your teepee template here with your pencil. Don't worry about this folded section. We're gonna be folding that. You can create a pattern. We all know what that is by now. A pattern is something that repeats itself. So I might do a curved line that wraps around. I can then do a zigzag. And another line and then in my sections I can then start adding those symbols that we looked at which I will post a picture of these symbols on your canvas page so you guys can pull up your canvas page right now and start adding that way you can see them closer or you can go back and look later and add some more okay so in my first section, I might have a moon. Okay. I could then also have next to the moon, I could have a sun. They liked to make the sun look like this. A circle and then small lines on each side, three lines. And if you've been to New Mexico, that's what their symbol for New Mexico looks like. So I've got a sun, a moon. I could then have clouds up here since we're kind of going along with that theme of the sky. Maybe rain clouds like this. And then I might have a large arrow. I think I want a large arrow in this section. So I can have a curved line to represent the body of the arrow and then a triangle end and then diagonal lines on each side. I could then also, let's see what else. I might do fish all over this section. Directions. I could then just have a pattern that repeats itself here on the bottom. Maybe, so this area is going to be folded. It's all going to be folded here in a minute. The center door will be folded. Um, I could have my little family here if I wanted to. A circle for my dad, big circle head for my mom. Remember a triangle for their main body, vertical lines for their arms. Only difference between the man and the woman is the woman has another triangle for the bottom part and then the man has diagonal legs, okay? So father, mother, and then I have one sister, so I might do two little girls, one for me and one for my sister, okay? So then after this, you get all your symbols. If you wanna make them stand out even more, you can use your black Sharpie for some of them. Make them stand out. Now, based on the little video we, we watched, what color do you guys think the teepee would be? Right, so brown or some kind of neutral color. Since the teepee 
itself, the body of the teepee was probably made out of some kind of animal skin or hide, which would be normally brown or maybe a yellow or maybe gray. So I will color that in. I will also color in some of my symbols, maybe outline the whole thing. And then the next step will be to cut around the parameter here, fold the flap, fold these sections, and then we'll glue it together. And then if you want, you guys can be going outside, maybe in your free time this evening, and I can guarantee you, you'll be able to find a couple sticks that you can make small enough to put inside your teepee to represent um, the structure to help it stand up, okay? Because of that winter ice storm we had, I'm sure there's plenty of sticks you can find somewhere in your yard. All right, you guys, now that we have our teepee colored in nice and neatly, we have some areas outlined with black. I kind of created some patterns in some areas. We're gonna go ahead and cut along the outside shape here carefully up and down. Like so. Make sure you don't cut this little fold flap off, okay? That's important, that's how it's going to connect together to create a 3D shape. It's gonna look kinda like a cone. Okay, so we've got that cut out. So the next step here, we are going to flip it over we're gonna find that fold, it should be on the left side. Fold along that creased line. And flatten it. So we should have a flap here. Okay. Now for the inside, the entryway of the TP, you guys can fold that line towards you, so in, inward this way, and kind of stop there, okay? You can also fold along these black lines, but you don't fold all the way up. You guys see how I'm stopping right there? Come on this side, fold. Way it kind of looks like it's bowing in for the entrance. Now we're going to need to get our glue stick handy and put a little glue along this folded flap here. Okay, all the way up. Pretty good amount. Then you are going to curve it and this glue is going to go behind this side of the teepee, press down, and hold it at the top. You might want to put your hand inside this cone. Kind of hold it down. Just line it up the best you can. Okay. You should be good to go. You can see my little family inside the teepee. And all my designs all the way around. So that way, when it's on a flat surface, it's creating a 3D form, okay? That you can see all the way around. So it's like a sculpture of a teepee. So at this time, you can um, find some sticks to put through the teepee itself, through the bottom and have them come up.
because remember that's what would connect and create the overall form of a, um, a real live uh, teepee, okay? They would have at least four large sticks that would connect and they would wrap around the top base of it. Okay. So you guys, I hope you had fun with this. Can't wait to see them. Good job.